This is the most efficient way to grind in modern warships. I will show you how to get more experience dollars and gold in an easier way. And also this will be a video dedicated to all the free to play users. Ok guys, so the ways to grind this game have changed since I started playing. Because I remembered that the rules were different back then. Okay, so back then you only need a warship, play some offline battles, and that was all. But today it is different. And we must start by the fact that you will get an extra bonus for every different warship that you use in one single day. For example, if you have a battle with It Cayo Duilio and then you have a battle with the HMS Duncan, you will receive a bonus. Okay, so you will get twice more gold, dollars, and experience. And that's only with a dollar warship. Also, if you get a warship like the It Cayo Duilio, you will get 20% more dollars and 20% more gold. Okay, so you need to keep in mind that this is actually the cheapest gold worship that you could purchase and uh, remember that you will have three cannons okay so that's really important okay guys so once you learn that you need to keep in mind that the worship that you will use to grind in tier 2 is not important because you need to use a lot of warships in order to get more bonuses but if you want my recommendation for a good tier 2 warship to grind this could be a good option okay so this is the HMS Duncan as you can see we can equip three missiles in this warship and a cannon okay so I like to use the nuclear missile missiles that will help me to get more damage and win battles easier. Also remember that the best way to grind is playing offline battles, ok? So I used to do it in Arctic but the best option to do it is in Storm, ok? Please don't grind in huge maps such as Viking Bay or Stunt Peaks or two samurai okay so those are bad maps if you want to get good rewards and uh, faster okay guys so remember that at the beginning i told you that this will be dedicated to all the free to play community i have to tell you that i have a premium account active okay so this means that my rewards will be higher so if you're thinking about purchasing a warship or a vip battle pass let me tell you that purchasing the premium account is a good option since you will get twice more experience, dollars and gold at the same time and the grind will be easier for you. So look at this guys, we're gonna try to use this equipment in action. Oh, okay, so look at that. Bro, this is so good. Remember that these are offline battles, of course. You're grinding to get better rewards okay so look at this you may ask why is it easier to do it in offline modes because you will almost win all your battles it will be impossible for you to lose the battles against the bots but you need to keep in mind that sometimes the bots are good players so you need to play safe okay so we're going to destroy this guy bye bye my friend okay so it was an assist okay so look at that we can cause a lot of damage to that aircraft carrier okay so that will be our next uh, move oh no we got uh, another warship uh, in our back so let's go for this guy no way bro those were a bunch of torpedoes okay so we're going to destroy this guy look at this 47,000 points okay so he used the flares now we can spam more missiles look at that guys bye bye my friend Yes, oh, okay, so we destroyed another warship. Okay, so there's another enemy here. Oh, okay, so we have to use a repair kit right now. Okay, so we're going to destroy you, my friend. Look at this 60,000 points. No way, guys. Look at that. Okay, so we can also cause more damage if we crash against this enemy. Okay, look at that. Bruh. Bye bye, my friend. Okay, so this is the last enemy. We have an aircraft carrier right there, so he used the flares, which means that the guy is already dead. No way, his air defense. Remember that the aircraft carrier's air defense are way more powerful compared to the air defenses that we have available in our warships. 
So we're going to destroy this guy. Yes, we did it. Okay, so the damage wasn't the best, to be honest. But this is one of the best ways to grind for a tier 2. Okay, guys, so the same thing applies to tier 3. So if you want to grind faster, you need a lot of warships to get that extra bonus of winning battles with a different warship. So I recommend you to purchase a lot of warships and grind the battle pass. So the Bella Golf is not only a good option to grind but it is actually one of your best options once you reach level 15 okay so this is a good warship that will help you to grind and at the same time this is a good warship that can fight against every type of warship in this game so I want to show you some equipment that you could use with this warship, okay? So first of all I'm assuming that you're a free to play user and you don't have good missiles, okay? So that's why we're going to use the granite missile and the jump, okay? So I need you to purchase this, but I'm not sure if this is level 20 but this is the best cannon that you could use right now even better than Monarch because the reload time of this cannon is way lower compared to the reload time of Monarch okay so we're gonna use uh, this cannon and uh, also this grenade launcher okay so we're gonna use the Spearfish torpedo which is a powerful torpedo it's actually one of the best free torpedoes of the game and the Gipka anti-tank auto cannon. Okay, so this is really powerful. I need you to equip that. Okay, guys, so we're gonna start by opening the map with our helicopter. Let's try to do it. We're not going to use the helicopter at all because it is only to, to open the map, but not to attack the enemies. Okay, so not enough line battles. That's a waste of time. Okay, so let's try to get closer. And uh, yeah, there's an enemy over there. There are more enemies right here. Let's try to use some place. Okay, so we're gonna use some equipment up now. Let's go back and look at these guys. This is what I want to show you. Okay, so I need you to use uh, flares. Are you gonna do it? Yes, it seems like he did it. We're gonna use uh, the torpedo and the, the grenade launcher. I want to get closer to show you the power of this cannon. Okay, so remember that you need to be really close in order to cause more damage. Okay, so look at that. He already used the flames. Okay, so that's the problem with uh, that missile. Okay, so look at this cannon, guys. Look at this damage. Look at this. Uh, 36,000. Bro, this is too, too powerful. Look at this. We have a submarine right there. Bro, we have to use uh, repair kits, bro. Like, the bots are good players in this type of uh, battles. So, bro, they're going to destroy me. What's going on? <laughs> No way guys, no, they're not going to do it. I'm gonna play this uh, serious uh, now. Okay, so look at all of that uh, damage. Bro, I'm scared at this point. I'm kind of scared, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, look at the reload time. It's pretty incredible. Okay, so I need to use a repair kit. There's the submarine, look at that. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to destroy this guy. Look. 31,000 points once again let's use a repair kit nice okay nice we have a Massachusetts right uh, there so let's try to destroy this uh, Massachusetts okay so let's try to destroy this guy let's do it let's use uh, the cannons bro this is powerful it is it is really powerful okay so we destroyed that enemy Massachusetts okay so now we must uh, be careful I'm gonna use some flares. I'm gonna use another repair kit. And uh, look at this. Buckshot in action. Okay, look at that. Bro. It is too powerful, guys. It is too powerful. Okay, so I survived to, to that. Uh, this was a normal damage. It wasn't uh, too much. And uh, this is all the amount of dollars and the gold uh, that we could get. It is really low, to be honest. It actually depends also if you're a good player or not. Because remember that I'm not a pro player. Maybe if you're better than me, you'll be able to get more experience and uh, dollars. So there's actually another way that could be useful, but not for the free-to-play users. Okay, so I remember that this was my first uh, purchase in the games okay so i purchased uh, this uh, battleship uh, just uh, for grind okay so i purchased uh, this and i remember that i was playing a lot of offline 
battles because I want to show you all the damage that we can cause with a battleship like this because remember that since we don't have missiles our equipment will never be affected by the flames so yeah it is pretty cool guys okay so let's go for this guy yeah let's try to destroy that admiral ushakov yeah look at this this would be a perfect hit bro there's no way guys look at that he's actually using the flames bro like, what are you doing, my friend? Bro, like, we can cause a lot of damage with this. It's pretty crazy. Look at that. Okay, so that was... Bro, it was an assist! Okay, so let's go for this guy. Yeah, we have RF Moscow right here. Look at these guys. This, this is going to be really crazy. No way. 185,000 points, 207. Okay, so you're going to see the difference. You're going to see the difference. With uh, the rewards, of course. Look at that. Okay, so we destroyed that battleship. Let's go for this guy. Yeah. Look at that. Perfect. Okay, so let's try to destroy this Admiral Basisti. Yes, this will be our next target. We're going to destroy this guy. Look at these guys. Bro, there's no way. Okay, so 1 million damage already. And we can get a lot of damage if we destroy this guy as well. That's exactly what we're going to do right now. I want to show you this. Look at this, guys. Bro, 152,000 points. That's a lot. Okay, so let's do it again. Let's do it again. Look at that. Oh, bro, look at that. 1,300,000 points already. That's crazy. And here is the last enemy. He's a submarine. Okay, so we're going to be able to destroy this guy. Yes, we're gonna do it. Look at this. Bye-bye, my friend. No way, guys. Look at that. Okay, so look at the difference, guys. Look at the difference. Look at all the money that we could get and the experience, bro. It's like twice. Okay, so also remember that the bonus applies as well, since we are using this battleship for the first time of the day. Also remember that in offline battles, you can complete the missions as well. So it will be way easier to complete the battle pass and get more rewards that will make your grind even easier.